Hello everybody, my name is Katrinka. I'm a professional singer and a vocal coach. I welcome back to my channel. Now, if you are new, which I know there's gonna be a lot of new faces, because today is gonna be my first ever reaction to Red Velvet. Now, I have reacted to Wendy before, and she literally stole my entire heart with her song. It was gorgeous. Her voice is super princessy. It's really stunning. And I've been just really excited to finally react to Red Velvet and, of course, one of their most notoriously famous songs, Psycho. So, I have two amazing news for you guys. First of all, I decided that since it is October, it's a spooky time, it's Halloween time, I will do something special for you. So I decided to create a cover of Psycho on my second channel, Katrinka Music. The link is gonna be down in the description. So if you are interested in me singing Psycho or my version of Psycho, definitely head there and let me know what you're thinking. I thought this was such an amazing opportunity because the song is beautiful but haunting. And it was also very challenging because, and I'm not afraid to say that, because it's sang by a um, bunch of an amazing singers that have different range, that have just different approach to singing and this whole thing was possible thanks to our sponsor of today's video. Now I have been a cover artist for some time and uh, one of the biggest challenges for a cover artist is to find a good instrumental to sing to. You can always find some on the internet but they are rarely high quality and that's where Moises app comes to rescue. <laughs> now Moises app lets you extract and divide uh, vocals but also other instruments from the original sound it takes just a couple of seconds and boom your karaoke is ready for you to go and you can practice just as much as you need to to really perfect that cover i found it incredibly helpful because a lot of time i'm deciding which cover i'm gonna do and the instrumental of the song sometimes is the reason which one I'm actually gonna choose. And now I know that whatever song I'm gonna choose, I will immediately have a high quality karaoke that I can work with and I don't have to search for hours for something at least acceptable. Now the app is constantly developing, the quality is evolving constantly. There are new features that are added monthly and the quality is just constantly getting better. And the best thing is, of course, that an app is for free, so you can play around as much as you want to and find just a perfect karaoke for you. And if you decide that you really like the app and you would like to invest more into your craft and just create more and more and more covers, you can check their premium. Premiums, per usual, have a bunch of options, but if you prepaid for a yearly, it's the best bank for the buck. And also there's a whole year for you to train your favorite songs. So if you are ready to go and play with your inner cover artist, <laughs> head down in the description of the video where you're gonna find the link to Moise's app and you can start playing around. Find the covers that you're gonna love and just keep on practicing. And of course, please don't forget to check my cover, which is gonna be on my second channel, Katrinka Music. I put a lot of effort into that because it was hard, man. When I tell you it was hard, these girls are incredibly talented and their voices are just so vivid and just all around the spectrum. So this one was difficult, but I had so much fun with it. So I hope you're going to enjoy it. Of course, if you're interested in everything music and singing related, don't forget to subscribe because this is the right place for you. And now, without any further ado, Red Velvet psycho okay i am nervous and excited i have waited for the first reaction to red velvet for forever there's not one there's not two there's multiple very very talented singers that the whole world is talking about so i can't wait to hear them let's go Oh, their voices are gorgeous. 
All right, I'm just gonna replay it from the beginning because the, the first note already completely swiped me off my feet. That's a hard note. Oh my god. This, oh god, that's a hard one because it's not um, ascending, it's descending. So you're starting from the highest tone. It has to be very thin because it's very high. It's gonna be in the head voice and <clears throat> therefore it's gonna be quite thin and you have to support it well with the breath mm. that's a very hard note also if you heard the double it's because there is a little bit of a backing track but she sang it completely along with it tone after tone she did not held back at all and she she hit it perfectly that was really nice because <gasps> a lot of air coming through so it's so so important to hit the very first one as it's gonna sound completely off but like completely off so amazing job there oh there's wendy wendy i love her so much Two of these singers, very warm, gorgeous voices. Really, really gorgeous. Now, this was a tiny bit more nasal, <clears throat> but so far they are very distinctive from each other. I'm not going to interrupt the upcoming part. I just wanted to replace the, uh, replay this a little bit because... You know, I'm so excited. Ooh, Wendy. You got me feeling like a psycho, psycho. Uri bogo mare jaku, jaku. The sea and birth the sound I got on. Put to the nini maria. Ihe ga ngande. Ukiji do ante. Who's singing the upper voice? I guess it's gonna be Wendy, right? I love this song. Okay, so we have the, the start for the refrain, which is extremely hard as well. Same reason why the beginning is. They used the same kind of technique, the same effect of the super high high angelic tiny head voice twice in this song which i like because it's creating the whole idea of the song is psycho it's supposed to be angelic beautiful but a little bit haunted at the same time and it is actually creating that a tiny bit of unsettling atmosphere but it's sank by these gorgeous human beings now i reacted to wendy before i supported her new song when immediately when it came out it was like water and i praised her so much for her vocals there and i knew that she is gonna come through and i love that she was actually up in those very high tiny thin parts because her voice color is just suitable for that so well it shines it literally shines there but the second time it was another singer singing the same phrase and uh, she got her tiny little twist on it that Wendy didn't do previously. I loved it because she added a little bit of a, like a tiny vocal ornament there. It was a little bit of a riff there. Liked it. Let's listen to it one more time. And there are these tiny little things that they use like psycho, psycho, which is like in the background of the chorus and it's creating this beautiful second layer to the whole chorus wonderful and it's in this clean beautiful light tone that wendy has 
absolutely stunning. I love this song as well. The song is incredibly catchy. Let's continue. So, oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. There was a little bit of a bell with a switch to a head voice, which was a nice effect. I liked it. The phrasing in Hey No Me Okay is in one tone and it's a lot of words crammed in one little space. So they're doing a very good job that they're keeping it very uh, readable what they're saying or audible what they're saying because normally in such a high speed with such a crammed little space and so many words it can muffle but I can audibly hear what they're saying Hey No Me Okay but it's a very cramped little phrase on like few little tones there so so i definitely have a bunch of highlights i love the song i love that it's very atypical it is still yes it is still k-pop and it is poppy and it has certain elements from pop music but it also is extremely edgy at least for me i think it's very atypical it is edgy it is um also quite minimalistic which i very much like i really have to say it's not over complicated and um the way it's stripped down and heavily focused on their vocals and uh, on their strengths, basically using everybody's best feature. So with uh, two girls that were singing mainly uh, the verses, there were more focused on the warmth in their voice, how pleasant it is just to listen to, very comforting. Then the bridge or like the pre-chorus it was sync with the with the the singer that had a little bit more nasal timber, but it was standing out so much more. The rapper is adorable. I loved how she was completely enjoying her time, enjoying the people, and just the people were vibing with them. And she was just vibing back, and that's what you love to see. A good, very relaxed performance that is just so lightweight, you could feel the joy from these girls they were having fun and i really really adore that and of course you have wendy with her bright beautiful uh, metallic angelic voice that was used perfectly it was not overpowering it was not too out there she was used in a parts that was creating just another level to what other girls were creating so so the girls went with a main melody and since they were all singing unisono the same part it was more substantial it was heavier chunkier and uh, they used wendy's voice just like a second voice it was just creating a tiny ornaments around it stunning it, it really added so much into the performance because if she would be singing with them it would kind of go all together it would be a way to flat but using her voice just as a tiny like touch-ups just like a highlighter when you do your makeup she's like a highlighter you know you have a full face and then a highlighter and that's the boom that's the final touch but now to my highlights let's replay it and i'm gonna show you my favorite moments okay so first of all definitely every single time the chorus started because 
this climb up is so hard to do. It's so hard to do. And it was nailed by both of the singers. So we're going to see both of them. <laughs> And second time. I love that ornament there. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna switch real quick on a big screen because one thing that I wanna point out is that this this group has incredible range. Um Sometimes you see bands that are composed of six, eight people and uh, they're still very limited when it comes to range that they can uh, kind of occupy. And, uh, you know, every singer has different range. It's completely fine to be a singer that is very grounded, that is very anchored. So you're singing lower, but you have gorgeous lower tones and you just bring that substance color, the juice into performance. But and also, it's completely fine to be a singer that has very bright, light, metallic, soft voice because you bring also a tons into performance. And I feel like in this group, the differences are huge and the range is huge. Okay, so Psycho, very well composed song, beautiful orange mouth of the voices. Whoever came up with those ideas of Wendy doing da -da, da -da, or like the intros and, and the beginnings to court. whoever did that great job because that made this song incredibly special i'm not even surprised it has millions and millions and millions of views on youtube because like listen to it it's it's one of a kind okay so i hope you enjoyed this video i will attempt to do a cover of this song and uh, i will upload it to my second channel katrinka music which you can find down in the description so please watch out for that and if you did enjoy the video don't forget to subscribe right here here is the video that youtube actually recommended for you and here is rest of my korean reactions so stay safe and healthy i'll see you next time Bye bye